this tutorial is going to cover the PHP uh, git method uh, that is used in forms to transformation or yeah to transformation information from one page to the other now here I have an example of the PHP git method in action okay now notice that it is a uh, I have a form with two input fields and a submit button and the page that the form is on is git page one dot PHP now first I'm going to submit uh, this form with no information entered in it. Notice that it says, now this is simply some text. It says, my name is and my email is. Um, and the information that is sent is uh, should be uh, displayed behind the semicolons. Uh, and notice that the second page that it is sent to, which in this case is this page, is get page 2.php followed by question mark and followed by uh, the words username and email. I'm going to show you why that is. Okay, now first I'm going to enter information into the first box and then information into the second user box. Just n now notice that the information I entered for uh, name is my name and is right there and the information that I own that I entered for my email is my email at my site dot com and it's right there. Notice again that the information that I sent over the web pages is displayed um, in the URL box also. Now the first information uh, now the first box has the username has the name of uh, username. The information that I entered is my name and then Second box has the use as the name value name of uh, email, and the information that I sent in the use box is my email at mysite.com. Now to show you how this is done, I'm going to create a form first of all. Okay, now so I've created the form, and then within the form I have the action attribute, and then in the action uh, the for the value for for the action attribute is in this case going to be the file PHP get to dot PHP, and I'm going to put this in the PHP uh, folder. So in the PHP folder, PHP to get to dot PHP is where I'm going to send it, and then the method is going to be in this case it's going to be post. So first I have the name input box. Okay, so, so in the first input box, I put, I use the input tag to create the input box. The type attribute is going to be, um, the is going to be, I'm going to use the type attribute with the value of text because I want information that is entered in the text field uh, to be visible. Now the name that I'm going to assign to the information that is entered in the first field is going to be username, and the name that I'm going to assign the information entered into the second user field is going to be email and then below I just have a simple uh, submit button using the input tag to create it uh, the type attribute and then the value is going to be submit so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to work on the second page which is going to be php get to that php then I already have the bare bones uh, file ready I'm going to work on the php code now notice how the information on the first page correlates to the second to the information on the second page. The okay, now notice username and email, which is which are the uh, the names given to the information entered into the field. Okay, so first I'm going to put username and then email. Now because this information is being transferred or sent over pages, 
using uh, a form and using the get method I'm going to use the dollar sign followed by the underscore and then capital letters uh, are used to type the get uh, keyword then in square brackets I'm going to put, put the username key, uh, value and then that value uh, I'm also going to put it in um, in quotes and the quotes can be either uh, single quotes or double quotes uh, whatever you like and then to make this information easier to work with I'm going to put this information in A variable and the same thing with the email value now I'm gonna have a setup to where I'm gonna use an if statement so if the submit button is pressed is, is, is what that says it's gonna execute whatever code is inside the curly brackets so in this case I have two echo statements and I want to echo the, the username and the email uh, information that is entered into the boxes so I'm going to first put my name is and then I'm going to use I'm going to do that by putting the username variable and the email variable Put a break tag so, it can, so they can be on separate lines. I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to upload upload these files again into the PHP folder, PHP Git One, and then PHP Git Two. So I go to the PHP folder, then PHP get one dot php which brings me to the form again I'm gonna press the submit button and notice the same thing it takes me to the second page where it has uh, the information that is submitted which in this case is uh, really only the name of the values username and email and then I'm gonna enter some, some information so you can see uh, the script in action Again, I'm entering my name and my email, pressing the submit button, and again, the values, the information, the information that is entered is displayed here. Uh, my name, which is what I entered, and my email at mysite.com, which is what I entered.